step number three is brushing. There are many different types of bristles. In the market, whatever brand, it could be Crest, it could be Colgate, it could be Oral-B, if you're using a man's toothbrush, whatever you prefer. What it cannot be is a medium bristle toothbrush. It cannot be a hard bristle toothbrush. Why? Because it causes recession. Recession is the thinning of your gums. Okay? And if your gums are thin, they're not able to fully support a tooth. If a tooth isn't supported, yeah, you know the rest. So to prevent that, also, um, before it even gets to that whole thinning and um, not able to support the teeth, a lot of sensitivity because you're, you're actually exposing the root of the tooth, which was originally covered by gums. So a lot of sensitivity, heat, cold, um, temperatures. Also, you can get cavities on your roots, and that is the worst. I see a lot in older people because they weren't told at a younger age how to brush um, and how often to brush and all that good stuff. <clears throat> Which I don't see. I work in a pediatric office. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah. The reason why that the medium and the hard bristle brushes, brushes are on the market is because they want to make money. It's not approved by the ADA. So it has to be a soft bristle toothbrush. Has to, has to, has to be. Okay, so I'm actually behind the camera. Um, here's Tyrone. We are going to practice brushing. When you brush, I don't want you to start brushing here and skip all the way around because you end up missing the same teeth over and over again. Okay? So make, give a systematic approach. I want you to start in the back and work your way all the way across to the other side. Okay? Work your way all the way across. <clears throat> so, one tooth at a time. I don't kind of believe. And you want to brush in little circles. <clears throat> you do want to brush in a straight line that causes recession, especially if it's a hard pressured brushing. You want to do it in a little circle. <clears throat> one tooth at a time. Brushing the insides, outsides, tops, and bottom with that one tooth. And then you slide over to the next one. And you keep going around just like that. <clears throat> This is what kids are unable to do. That's why parents, it's very important for you to brush with them. Even when they don't want you to. It's very important. They don't get the concept yet. I'll appreciate it later. As an adult, they won't have any feelings that need to be replaced. Or that turn into <coughs> root canals and things like that. Okay? Go all the way around. Um, if you don't have a tongue brusher or a scraper or cleaner or either, <laughs> thingy bajigger, you can use a toothbrush too. I yeah, forgot to mention that. Okay. Hi, Tyrone. <laughs> okay, and this is Tyrone's cousin. Doesn't have a name yet. <laughs> Here we go. Brushing with braces. Totally different concept. You're not going to brush straight on like this because you're going to end up brushing more of the metal bracket than you are the teeth. The metal bracket can't get cavities, so we want to get around it. Okay. Um, you're going to brush beneath it. And then you're going to brush above it. Okay, that's how you get around braces with brushing. And of course the inside. Okay? And then keep going all the way around to the other side. You need a name. Okay. Um, as far as the toothpaste, it can be whatever you prefer. A little sidebar tip: I found that if whenever I use Crest Cinnamon um, White Expressions, that I can ha drink orange juice, I can eat whatever I want, and the flavor will still be there. So if I know that I'm going out to eat for breakfast, but I want to brush beforehand. Because generally you brush after you eat breakfast, but if I'm going out, I'm not going to have, yeah, morning breath on the way to the diner. So I brush with this on those mornings, <laughs> and I can still have the taste that I require of my food, okay? So otherwise I use regular old mint or whatever. Um, I don't have a preference toothpaste, I use whatever. Um, those of you who are smokers, um, there is a special toothpaste called Topol. 
T-O-P-A-L, and you can also use that to help remove staining. Um, although not smoking also prevents smoking stains. <laughs> but anyway, live your life. Do what you do. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is a myth. Here's a myth buster for you guys. Um, a lot of people ask me, does ap do apples clean your teeth? Uh, they were saying, oh, I heard that, you know, if you don't have time to brush, um, eat an apple, and that will clean your teeth. No. Um, apple has sugar in it, natural sugars, and so, no. <laughs> but good try, though. Good try, good try. Better off chewing gum. Gum that's sugar-free doesn't do as great a job as brushing, but it, it is a good temporary substitute. Okay, so I'm not saying don't brush, chew gum instead, teenagers. What I'm saying is, if you're away from home, you can use that. Okay? But still brush twice a day. Make up for it. The next thing, step number four. I don't know where I put it. I don't know where I put it. Hang on. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Forgot the tongue scraper. Here it is. And this is also an optional step, um, but I, I like to clean my tongue because my tongue touches my teeth, and if my tongue isn't clean, neither are my teeth. So basically all you're going to do is you open big, stick it on your tongue, and use that scraping motion. <laughs> I wish not to <laughs> scrape my tongue on YouTube, just because um, I don't want to. So anyways, step four, step number five is floral. After you brush, after you floss. Um, it's really good to apply a topical fluoride treatment, okay? And there are many different kinds. Those of you who are very low on the cavity scale, never had a cavity, brush and floss, um, you could probably use what I use, which is ACT. Or even if you have had a cavity, but you haven't had them in many, many, many years, and you're brushing and flossing, you can use ACT, I should say. Not everybody's cavity-free, um, like as I. But anyway, this is the one that I use. Okay. But you have to wait 30 minutes before you can eat or drink anything else. You want it to really sit on our teeth and work its way in. Our enamel is very porous like our skin, and that requires that amount of time for um, it to get in there and do its job. Those of you who have had cavities or still getting cavities um, and want to help get a good grip on it, um, aside from diet, brushing, and flossing, what you need to do is get a prescription um, fluoride toothpaste. Um, one of them on the brand is called Control RX. <clears throat> Another one um, is Prevident 5000. And basically, it's a stronger prescription, and um, it'll help those of you who are um, more cavity prone. Okay? And. I believe that is it. If you have any questions, go ahead and type in a little comment. Otherwise, <laughs> I think I'm done. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I think I'm done. All right, guys. So I hope that helps. Um, on Friday, I will be heading off to Texas for five days, and then I'll have another video, which I already have pretty much put together. Um, it's going to be dental vocabulary. So if any of you have ever been to a dentist's office and you want to know what they're talking about, you hear words, occlusal, you hear different types of stuff, and you're like, what are they talking about? And you want to know what they're saying? Um, stay tuned. Also, I'm be doing it on my new toy. Those of you who don't know, I'm a huge Wii fanatic in bowling. 213, thank you very much. Anyway, so today's May 21st, and I was like, 12th in line to get the Wii Fit. I'm a huge yoga fanatic and it's perfect. So I'll be doing my dental vocabulary. I haven't even opened it yet. <laughs> oh, it's so exciting. Yeah, so if you have any words that you want to know, stay tuned. I'll be back with my Texas tan. Bye!